Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk Bulldog Cross Country. And with us, head coach Jared Kelsch. And Jared, first of all, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Rob. This past Saturday, the Bulldogs hosting the Ray Helsing Bulldog Invitational, 42nd uh, year that this event has been held, and, and certainly a, a great way to start, start off the season for your team. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, when you can always get out on your home course, uh, especially because we're hosting the GLIAC Championships this year, uh, it's good to get a feel of uh, what we're going to be running on later in the season and, uh, you know, up against the, uh, the other teams in our conference. So uh, it's great to get out that first week, kind of shake the rust off after the summer and uh, not racing since the track season. So, What does it mean to take part in an event like this that's been going on since 1976, an event named after uh, a legendary head coach in Ray Helsing? Oh, it's it's huge. Our, our kids love it. Um, you know, Ray started the cross country program here, so um, you know it's a great honor to him. He passed away a few years ago. Um, you know, so it's it's super important for us and our program to you know continue the legacy and everything he did for our track and cross country programs here. And um, it's just a great way to honor him and a, and a great way for us to start our season. It was a great way uh, to start the season for both teams. Uh, we'll start with the men as we go to some of the footage. And uh, you win the team championship. Uh, certainly had a, a great performance to start the year. Yeah, uh, our guys did a fantastic job early of uh, running in a group um, and, and kind of working together that first two, three miles um, before they split up. So uh, that definitely helped pull some of our younger guys. Uh, we had a lot of sophomores who stepped up um, and did a fantastic job. And we're in our top seven this year. So um, it, it was great. You know, we went one through four. Um, you know, had a couple of juniors and seniors up there. Trevor Holowati, Logan Hammer uh, won it, and then Kyle Richardson and, and Casey Neal were all in the top four. So it was uh, it was a great run for us. Logan Hammer, uh, as you mentioned, won the uh, individual championship, uh, GLIAC Athlete of the Week uh, for his performance, and uh, bettered his time uh, in the same event by more than 40 seconds from last year. Yeah, uh, I think just having the experience and being able to run it a couple of years, um, you know, our, our course has stayed pretty similar, um, kind of gives us an advantage. And, and, and again, for us being able to run on it and hopefully work out on it a few times this year before we, we host GLIACs um, definitely gives our, our team uh, the edge. And, um, you know, that kind of showed when Logan ran 40 seconds faster than last year on the same course. So seven in the top uh, 17 or so for your team. Uh, talk about the competition you faced in this meet and some of the other schools that took part. Yeah, we had a variety of teams, um, and you know we had a couple of GLIAC teams, Wayne State, Saginaw Valley, um, but then we had some uh, other other teams from the Grand Rapids area. We had Hope, uh, Davenport, um, you know, a couple community colleges. Um, it's great to have a, a little bit more low-key uh, early season meet, and um, you know, be able to go against a, a variety of teams instead of just Division Two. Um, but it kind of lets us see where we stack up against teams that are in our state, and. Um, you know, where, where we want to shoot for uh, moving forward against teams in our conference. So, Men's team takes first place as we move to the women's side now. Uh, Runner-up honors for the Bulldogs. And again, another strong showing uh, by, the, by the women's team uh, here to open the year. Yeah, the girls did a, did a fantastic job. Um, you know, this is a week that we normally work through um, as far as training-wise. So a lot of our upperclassmen are still doing higher mileage. Um, that being said, we had a, a couple of freshman girls um, go one and two for us. Uh, Kenzie Garvey and, and Katie Atlamecki um, were our top runners, and uh, they did a fantastic job. They're doing great in transitioning from you know the high school level to uh, being able to adapt what we're doing here in, in our program. So um, it really was an all-around team effort. You know, like I said, right from the freshmen to our three and four runners this week were uh, juniors and seniors. So um, you know we're looking for for a big year and uh, from our women's team, and um, you know have a tremendous amount of, of talent and have pretty high expectations. Six in the top 20 overall uh, on the women's side. Uh, talk about uh, where you go from here as, as you move on uh, to the next competition uh, coming up at Michigan State this week. Yeah, um, Michigan State uh, is is a, is a huge meet for us. Um, it allows us to see Division One through, uh, you know, NAIA, um, some Canadian schools, Pennsylvania. So we really kind of get the gamut of uh, teams and, and competition. And uh, generally, it's it's a huge race for us because it's our um, you know, big competition where we, you know, run against 400, 500 runners all at once. Um, so when you're in that kind of atmosphere where you're consistently racing somebody the whole race because there's so many athletes in there, uh, it makes it a lot more competitive and a little bit easier to get into a rhythm where, you know, maybe you have a little bit lower key meet and uh, you're running by yourself for a half mile or a mile. It's harder to push yourself a little bit. So this will kind of be a bigger test for us this week um, as we're going to race good competition and a lot of athletes. You mentioned earlier a chance to host the GLIAC Championships coming up here in October. You hosted the, the track and field meet uh, in the spring and now the GLIAC cross-country meet. What does that mean to be able to uh, compete in those events uh, here at home? 
Uh, it's great, not only for our athletes, but uh, you know our, our local running community, um, the fans. It, it's huge for our seniors graduating, being able to you know have their last cross country conference championships at home uh, on a course that we've run the last three or four years. So, um, other than giving us the advantage, it's just nice to have more, um, I guess, spectators and um, fans that are kind of playing in our favor for for hosting the GLIAC meet. Both teams obviously has had a long history of success. Uh, you've been to the NCAA championships here a few times on both sides in the in recent years. Uh, talk about uh, some of the goals as you move forward uh, here this season. Yeah, uh, you know our our big goal is always okay. How many athletes can we get to the NCAA championships, um, or can we make it as a as a team? Um, in order to do that, we've kind of uh, adopted a, a pack running um, philosophy. So, um, you know that's that's huge. Like I said, with the incoming freshmen on the women's side. Um, and our upperclassmen on the men's side with, you know, leading uh, by two juniors and a senior. So um, that kind of gives us the opportunity to pull some of our teams together and uh, allows them to work together. And again, our goal is always to be, you know, one of the top three or four teams in the region or, or have some individuals make it. So, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to have some kids in uh, Florida this, this fall. So. How does some of the training change as you move uh, on through the course of the year now from this point to uh, getting ready for the conference championship? Well, you know, mostly in the summer we did a lot of uh, strength-based stuff. Um, you know, as we get further into our season, um, we'll utilize a little bit more speed and maybe cut our mileage down a little bit uh, just so our kids are feeling a little bit fresher as we go into uh, the championship-type meets, um, you know, so their legs aren't quite as dead. And, um, you know, they, they do a great job of working through the early season and um, pushing and, you know, realizing that the goal is, you know, the conference championships, regionals, nationals. So um, they do fantastic work, you know, through the early season, um, knowing and, and just kind of hoping that it's going to pay off in the end. Um, you know, so we'll kind of adopt more of a, a speed um, idea as we move through the season. Well, Jared, congratulations again on this past weekend. Best of luck to the Bulldogs this week. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.